Hey guys, welcome back to Chart of the Week with Glassnode, where we run you through some of the most important charts in crypto. Today, I wanted to spend some time talking about realized price by age. Essentially, realized price is the average acquisition cost, and here we like to break it down by age cohort. And we have all of the various different age cohorts displayed on the screen. It's all of these beautiful different spaghetti noodles here. Um, yeah, your, your oldest cohort obviously will have the lowest average acquisition cost because they've been able to accumulate coins at lower prices over a much longer period of time. But for today's purposes, I'd like to try and teach two things or at least two ways in which I like to use this chart. I essentially like to isolate the six month to 12 month cohort. But before I do that, I just wanted to use the aggregate. The aggregate realized price is essentially the aggregate of all of the various different age cohorts. And I personally like to use it uh, in bear markets as a level where to really stack some serious uh, Bitcoin. Um, I'm obviously a big fan of Bitcoin and I used it in the prior, uh, prior bear market to start accumulating more aggressively here. Not financial advice, but that's just how I like to use this. So zooming in a bit and isolating our cohort. Cool, the six month, 12 month cohort, why them? Technically, if you are, if coins are hold for longer than six months, uh, we categorize them as long-term holders, and the six to twelve month is a active, a pretty active cohort of long-term holders. Um, so, why you could kind of liken this to a moving average over roughly the last uh, year or so worth of price data, but obviously we take into account the actual acquisition price of various coins of this cohort. So. Today, I'd like to use it as a bear market, bull market, bull market filter. So you can quite clearly see when you're trading above this cohort's average acquisition cost, you are in a bull market. When you lose it, you are in a bear market. The same pattern has played out over the 2017 bull market and the 2018 bear market, the 2020 and 21 bull market. And then we lost this, let's just zoom in a bit. We lost this level during late 21, beginning 22, which confirmed that we were in a bear market. We've been trading above this level or this cohort's average acquisition cost, pretty much the entire bull market, but more recently we have broken below it. So let's just isolate out the cycle. We are below here. We are below 95K, which is our level to watch personally. I would like to see this level either reclaimed or Unfortunately, if we trade further below this, if we continue to be below this uh, average acquisition cost, we're technically in a bear market and we risk obviously trending lower. So not all hope is lost. Um, we may see a Santa rally, we may see price reclaim this, and if that does happen, you may see a renewed uptrend, but as it stands, we are in a bear market below here and we are at risk of trading further downwards. So guys, I hope you learned something. Um, comment how you use this metric if you use it differently in the comment section below. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you next time on Chart of the Week. All the best, guys.